This is the best thing you can do for yourself right now. Yep, Belina Etcher, Zorin OS 18. It's free, open source. You can get either OS Zorin OS 18 Core, that's the free version I have, or you can buy the Pro that comes preloaded with a lot of software that you can actually replace everything you had on Windows, almost. Except one thing I haven't been able to do. Yeah, Wondershare, Filmora, for some reason, just refuses to work on almost any Linux I've tried. Besides that, every Office thing and all that other stuff is replaceable and it's really beautiful. I have a really bad malware on this laptop and it's called uh, Windows 11 and uh, we're gonna fix it. And there is one way to actually get rid of this malware called Windows 11 and it's by installing Linux. Yes, I'm gonna install Zorin OS. It's like a champ. Let me turn it on real quick. And uh, it just simply works. And it's the same reason I don't like Windows that nobody else likes Windows. <laughs> Okay, just turn it on on Windows to show you that, yeah, it is actually on Windows 11. But that's not going to be the case for any longer because we're going to get rid of it. Okay, we're going to do the Samsung flash drive real quick. Try or install. Uh, yeah, we're going to try or install really quick. We don't need to do those crap. Oh, sign in. Oh, give us your data and your firstborn. Nah, dude. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't gonna play this game. It's, uh, you know, it's 2025. This whole BS has to go and die. Because everybody's tired of Microsoft playing games. And uh, they think that everybody's installed Microsoft. And, you know, they have a lot of users. But the reason <laughs> they have a lot of users is that, yeah, they were quite... Pfft, for a long time in the market playing the Monopoly game. And a lot of people are just too lazy to learn something else. The same way you learn Microsoft, you can learn almost any Linux distro. And no, Linux is not what you think it is. You know how it was before that you have to do everything under the commands. No, now we have complete, uh, like almost like a Play Store that you can actually download apps and you can just install them and things simply work. And furthermore, this laptop on Windows holds a battery around three hours. It's not the newest, but you know, it has a nice 7, 11th generation, 16 gigs of RAM, two terabytes NVMe and all that good stuff on Windows, three hours. Can you guess how long it lasts on Linux? Somehow, right? Seven hours. And I'm not exaggerating, seven hours. We're talking about more than 100% better. You, you gotta be kidding me. I saw somebody actually do that test on uh, YouTube and I thought maybe he's pulling a leg here. There's no chance the difference could be that huge. Well, guess what? I was wrong and he was right. He was actually not lying at all. The difference is that huge. It's because Microsoft keeps uh, doing what a spyware malware does and bloatware. Eat up everything you have. Don't participate in the census. Uh, no, I'm not going to participate. Install third war. Yes, I need those. Click next and just let it do its job. That's it. Yes, I'm going to erase disk. I can't wait to erase the whole disk with Windows on it. No, I don't need any advanced features. Yes. Wipe everything. Give it all champ. That's it. When, you, when it's all done, this will look, I would say, 80% like Windows 11. I'm not joking. It will actually look almost 80% like Windows 11. And yes, I'm recording my screen with a camera because my Elgato decided to catch AIDS or something and just went on the other life. But it's okay, we don't care. We can just point the camera to the laptop. That's what matters here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let it install. You have all the data and all that stuff that it needs going on by itself. It has not told us yet. You must have internet. You must have an online account. You must have cloud. No, none of that. It's just you downloaded the, the, the operating system and go ahead. Do what you want, man. It's your laptop. We're giving you the software. If you want us to give you a software with more apps pre-installed on it and premium packages to kind of guide you through. Gotta pay like 30 bucks, I think, is Zorin OS 18 Pro. And in my opinion, just my opinion, I am not affiliated with the Zorin team. I actually don't even know them. They don't know me. But I'm telling you, that will be the best dollars you've ever spent on an uh, 
on an operating system. I'm not, I'm not shitting you. It's the best dollars you'll ever spend because it comes preloaded with a lot of amazing software. Most of them open source, free, good stuff. So you're literally just ready to work. You don't need to check under the rocks and bushes what's hiding there and where can I get this and that. So yeah, Linux guys has changed. It's not your grandpa's Linux. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different Linux now. <laughs> okay, installation complete. You need to restart in order to use the new software. It's going to prompt us probably to remove the USB, which we should do. Oh, yeah, just like I told you, remove installation media. And I did that and hit enter. That's it. You know, just chatting here together. We installed an entire operating system. And yes, I am that kind of guy that uses Dell and Lenovo laptops. Uh, just uh, deal with it. Deal with it. Look how beautiful that opening is. Boom. Simple. Easy. Welcome to Zorin OS. You can do a tour here if you want to. If not, you are just ready to go. Look at that. Have everything just like you would have on uh, Windows. Drivers and everything are already installed. Good luck. And some of the software that you might need right away in hand, it's already pre-installed even with a free version. You know, LibreOffice and all that that most people would use, for example. This is like the Word document version of it. And the uh, writer document right here. Boom. Just like Microsoft Word. You can tap your docu documents and have fun. You can save it. You can do whatever you want because now it's actually yours. Look at that. And you can save it as right here. And you can go here. ODF, all formats. You can do all formats and save it to like something else if you wish so. But look at the options you have right here. Just like Word, for example. Word 2007, Word 2010, Unified uh, uh, Office Format. You have everything that you would actually need. Boom. And literally we just installed this operating system, right? And it's already ready to go. Especially if you're somebody that's just looking for office work. And yes, this is not, of course, everything here. I don't need to save it. I haven't connected to the internet yet. Huh? Keep that in mind. I am not connected to any internet yet. And we have utilities here that you would do backups, document scanner, all that good stuff. Then you have sound and video, camera, uh, rhythm box, sound recorder, videos, and all that pre-installed as a courtesy, as a courtesy to you. So even if you have zero internet, you are ready to go. That's why it's so beautiful. Yeah, Romania Brave web browser is pre-installed. <laughs> Not Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome or anything else brave browser that's absolutely beautiful i don't want to put a key ring nope i don't want it that's it boom and you are ready on brave and you're ready to go now that's what i call powerful that is powerful i'm just gonna do these later i don't want to do anything right now got that that's how an operating system should be so you don't need to suffer and run around and all that like a deer in headlights Okay, I installed it now, but what do I do now? You don't need to do anything. Just go ahead and use it. Have fun. You paid for the computer. You know, this laptop wasn't free. So somebody out there actually has a heart to develop an operating system and tell you, okay, have fun with it. Now, those people to me deserve respect. I don't know who they are. Well, almost all the Linux groups are like that. Just they do good stuff. They're not run by money. If you want to donate to them, you can, obviously. With every distro, usually you have a donation. And a lot of times, when I can, of course, I do. Whether I actually use it for a day or a week, sometimes I just, yeah, sure, here, five bucks, 10 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever you can happen to have. And uh, it helps because somebody has to pay lights to write all this code and all that. And I don't know what else to tell you. Look at that LibreOffice drawer and image viewer. Everything is just right in here. You don't need to do almost anything else at all. Here you have how to select Windows. You have all this stuff just like you would have on Windows. I swear I almost feel dirty saying Windows at this point, but here you go. Power modes, night light, and all that uh, good stuff, just like you would have them on uh, Windows. Balanced. You can switch that. You can go performance if you want to. Boom. And you can switch or, uh, or connect to Wi-Fi, I would say, at this point. Boom. Literally connected just like that. And what I was telling you, they say in your grandpa's Linux. <laughs> 
you have software right here that you can actually browse uh, apps. I have to do the updates because I literally just connected it. But you can go right here and you can search for apps that you would need. Boom. For example, I need OBS to record the screen. Just click it. Boom. And hit install. Did I need to browse the internet or write any code or anything for it? No, I did not. Nope. I did not. And uh, I don't know, maybe you want Caden Live. It's an actually free, free uh, video editor. Let me do Caden. And you have it right here. Boom. Loading app details, of course, because it's doing updates on the background. And you are ready to go. And even the mouse, or what do you call the, the slide cursor thing? Let me zoom you out a little bit. I didn't need to go do tricks to actually make it work. You know, the two fingers scrolling, it simply works. You grab the software, the drivers and whatever it needed by itself. I didn't need to do anything. Now you tell me this is not powerful. So it's okay, you can stick with Windows if you wish so, but I think it's a great investment on yourself learning a thing or two about Linux. And the best entry point I would say is Zorin OS. And right after it, the next suggestion I would highly make is uh, Linux Mint. Yes, M-I-N-T. These two will be your entry points and you will not regret a single thing. Anyway, besides that, what else can I tell you? It's just that easy, that simple, and you don't need to do much. And the updates are just right here for whatever you need. Look, it even detected my laptop right away. Latitude 5320. That's it. Imagine that. I don't need to go download Dell Assistant and all that garbage that Windows makes you. With this one, it's right here. <laughs> the system just knows it. That's it. It knows what you need and still gives you an option. Doesn't do the auto update stuff without you actually seeing it and approving it. Now that to me is really powerful. Anyway, with that said, We'll uh, see you next time. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the whole thing that you can do different workspaces and look at the, 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 the speed, right? Look, and this is not even a brand new laptop, huh? Look at that. What's the last time you can do that with Windows, with this kind of laptop, without it actually overheating and having the fans start spinning on the street? That's just what I'm telling you. Anyway, hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you next time. Big shout out to Zorin OS for actually making this beautiful operating system. Like and subscribe. Bye!